Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, my name is Anna and I haven't made a video in ages. But um, the reason I, I haven't is because uh, my dog, I well I moved um, and two, I, um, my dog was um, diagnosed with um, hemangiosarcoma cancer. Um, and as some of you know, my dog is, my dogs, my pets, are my world and I absolutely love them. My dog, um, Teddy, I brought him over from America. I'm originally from Southern California. I live in, in the UK. Um, and um, it's it's been a real struggle. I mean, any of you pet parents out there that know, that have pets with cancer or relatives, it, it's, it's a lot of, it emotionally drains you. And um, when he was diagnosed um, six months ago, um, I told myself, if my dog makes it to six months, I'm going to restart my channel and I'm going to dedicate it to him because he means the world to me and I've learned so many things and throughout these last six months that I want to be able to share them with you. I want everybody out there to know that you're not alone. I felt alone in the beginning. I thought, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? How do I go about this? Um, and, uh, yeah, so the first thing I did was, um, I changed his diet and I Googled everything. I contacted everybody I possibly could. Um, and we opted out for chemo because it wouldn't have, um, helped him because he's got early stages of cirrhosis. And I don't know if, if you know, but a lot of drugs, chemo drugs can be really, um, hard not just on humans, but like, you know, little animals, because a lot of it, it metabolizes in, in, in their liver and kidneys. And it just, I was not going to put my little man through that. So anyways, apologize for the sun. The sun suddenly decided to come out over here on this side of England. Um, it's been really um, cloudy. But anyways, um, what I started doing was I changed his diet and I used to give him, I tried the royal canine and the hills and everything and it just um there's just a lot of stuff behind there and I, I'm not gonna bad mouth them but if you google them and just you'll be a bit scared and I was a bit wary and I thought no I'm not gonna go that route so um my dog has mantras or chroma cancer like I mentioned he's got congestive heart failure and he's got um cushions he has a history of a kidney stones the struvite crystals it just he he's a bit of a mess but i changed his diet and guess what everything else aside from the mantra sarcoma cancer and his, his little congestive heart failure everything else is under control and i I, th I feel that a lot of it has to do with the diet um so when i what i started off doing was i in the beginning was i was measuring everything i was buying everything raw and just it was just such a hassle when you work full time and you're trying to get yourself ready you're trying to figure out this disease and and you're trying to feed your dog it just it's a lot of work so i found a couple of companies and i didn't know who to go with but i um the first one i subscribed to was bella and duke and it comes in a little container like that and it gives you options it has the enriched and it has the working and it has the just classic general. Um, I personally, I like the working one because um, it has a lot of variety, which my dogs absolutely love. Even my fussy little girl poodle. She's just a naughty little thing, aren't you, honey? Let's get her in here. She wants to come in and say hi. Come here, honey. Good girl. She's, she's healthy. Nothing's wrong with her. Um, thankfully, but she loves it. And, um, anyway, um, you can get different subscription packages. Um, they come in a little container like this. Um, you thaw them out and then you, you feed them and, and, um, you, depending on the size of your dog, you calculate their, um, how many calories and grams you should give them per day. Um, and depending on how their activity level, um, so basically comes in a package like this and you have to basically scoop it out. After a while, you kind of learn how much to give them. 
how many scoops or how many grams and things like that. Another company that I that I try that I quite like is Able, and it comes in little packages like this. Um, you can get again depending on the size of your fridge, your wallet, and everything. Um, you can stick them in there. I quite personally, I quite like the packaging in Able, and I'll tell you why. It's environmentally friendly. You can just throw, throw the wrapper away. Um, they can fit very easily in your in your uh, freezer versus, oops, the Bella and Duke one. And uh, yeah, I, I, I quite like them. I, I feel that Abel's a little bit cheaper than Bella and Duke. Um, you can, bo with both of them, you can see everything that's in there, the bones and the veggies and things like that um packages start at anywhere between four kilos you can get a starter pack it, it all depends on again the size of, of your freezer the size of um of your dog and how much you feed it i mean if you have a little chihuahua then you might not need that many packets um i have two dogs so it just i usually get a bit more um, and it'll last me about a, a good month, month and a half. It, it all depends um, on how much I get. But I, I quite like them. They're quite, uh, I think they're pretty reasonably priced. Um, some people may not agree with me. But um, yeah, I, I, I like them. I, I like them and I highly recommend them. There's a few other ones that I am going to try and that I will be reviewing with you. Um, I'm also, um, like I said, um, I promised myself, my dog, that if my dog made it to six months, um, I would restart my channel, which I have, and um, I'm going to just share with my hints and tips with all of you and the supplements and things that I, I do for him on a daily basis because it is a full-time job. I, I am... I get all sorts of things ready for him. I he's he's not as active as he was once upon a time, but he is a senior. He is nearly ten years old, and um, so yes, I will um, share that with you. Um, if with Bella and Duke, um, if you're new to them, they will get you get fifty percent off the first um, box, and if you subscribe, you save some you save money. Um, the same thing with Able, you. Um, if you subscribe, you save, like, I think it's like 10 or 15%. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. Um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Leave them down below. I will link um, both companies below. Uh, again, I'm not being sponsored for this, um, but I just wanted to share with everybody out there what I do for my dogs and what you can do for your dogs as well. Even if they're not ill, you just want to be able to give them the best because they deserve the best. Um, dogs are just simply amazing. I'm a crazy dog lady. I see a dog on the street and I just have to cuddle it and say hi to it. I just, um, I don't always feel the same way about people, but animals I do love. And um, anyway, so have a great weekend and um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I um, will be making more. This is Honey. This, she's my little female. And um, Teddy's relaxing on the on the sofa right now, so I don't want to disturb him. Um, she abs This little girl is so fussy with food, but she absolutely loves her Bella and Duke. Um, and uh, she loves Abel. And, and the reason she's here is because she knows it's it's dinner time, so she's going to get some food really soon, aren't you, honey? You good girl? Yeah. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, one of the one of the many benefits of raw feeding your dog is that you're going to notice their poos do not smell as much. Their poos become a lot smaller, and it's, it's great. Um, it's really it's great for everybody so like i said um thank you so much for watching and uh i will speak to you soon bye